Tonight, final preparations are underway for President Biden's first visit to Rhode Island since taking office. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Air Force One is expected to land at Quonset State Airport tomorrow morning ahead of Biden's address to U.S. Coast Guard cadets in Connecticut. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi joins us now with a look ahead and a look back at previous presidential visits. This will be the first time in more than six years that a sitting president has been in Rhode Island, but he won't be spending much time in the Ocean State. Quonset State Airport in North Kingstown, set to welcome Air Force One on Wednesday when President Biden touches down for a visit to southern New England. While the White House has released few details about the trip, Biden is scheduled to be in New London, Connecticut at 11 a.m. for the U.S. Coast Guard Academy commencement. Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee among those waiting to hear more. We're hearing that the president might be around, but we haven't got any details to share with you. He might not be in the state, maybe in the state, who knows? You know, I know he's going to be in the region. I, I can tell you that if you ask me, I don't know. And if I did know, I think you'd, I'd, I, you'd have to shoot me, I think, to get the, you know, to, uh, to get the information out of, with all the security that goes on. The last time Quonset saw the presidential plane was in 2007, when George W. Bush landed at Quonset before giving a speech at the Naval War College in Newport. I care about what life is like around the world, and so should America. Barack Obama visited Rhode Island twice as president in 2010 and 2014, both times landing at TF Green. Donald Trump never came as president, but he did campaign in Rhode Island in 2016. It really does depend on personal and political reasons for why a president would come. Deborah Mulligan is a history professor at Roger Williams University. However, I do think that presidents will come when they, they feel the need because there's some sort of connection to the state. And of course, if a presidential visit is unusual for Rhode Island, a presidential visit just two weeks after a vice presidential visit is really unusual. Unclear how long it will be before Rhode Island sees either President Biden or Vice President Harris again after this. Ted Nisi, 12 News.